All right, hello everybody. It is just coming up on one o'clock and I welcome you to this NCCDH webinar. Um, we're here today to learn about tools for organizational learning and capacity here on September 30th. And if you're just joining us, welcome. Um, we are happy to provide live, uh, live closed captioning for this webinar. And um, you'll see the link on the screen, but as well in the chat box. So if you're able to access the chat box, you can click on that link and it'll pull up another window um, where you can follow closed captioning at your own pace. We'd love it if you also please introduce yourself in the chat box. Um, and some of you may already know how to do this if you've been on a Zoom meeting before. If you have not, um, there's, I just want to put a little picture up there to show you what it looks like. There is a mute and unmute button at the bottom of your screen, and that's where I think you'll see it. Um, it's highlighted here with a red circle. And there, you can also stop your video or start your video. There's, you can call up a list of participants, or you can call up the chat box, which is where you would introduce yourself or see that message about closed captioning. So just by pressing on that participants button or that chat box button, you should be able to call up the chat box or the participant list at your pleasure. Um, we do ask that you keep yourself on mute today if you're not speaking, that will just keep... So thanks so much for, for doing that. And um, as you're introducing yourself in the chat box, it would be great to hear where you work, where you're calling in from, where you're joining us from rather on Zoom, and if you're joining with a group of colleagues today or just on your own. So uh, thanks so much for, for sharing that. My name is Pema, and I'd like to start today by acknowledging first that the NCCDH is located in Mi'kma'ki, the ancestral and unceded uh, territory of the Mi'kmaq people. And I am actually speaking to you from Toronto, which is the traditional territory of the Wendat, the Anishinaabek, the Haudenosaunee, Métis, and the Mississaugas of the New Credit First Nation. You may also be aware and see uh, that people are, are wearing these shirts as they call in, um, that today is Orange Shirt Day, and it's an annual day to honor and remember the survivors of Canada's residential school system and their families. And remember also that every child matters, and that's really the slogan of Orange Shirt Day. So today I'm also thinking of uh, Joyce Sachuklin who experienced racial violence while dining in a Quebec hospital and all of her family and community members. And it felt important for me to say that at the same time as talking to you about Orange Shirt Day um, and acknowledging where we're calling in from um, and the land that NCCDH is, 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 is part of. We've also sent some related resources from our sister center, the National Collaborating Center for Indigenous Health, for anyone who would like some more support in learning about the ongoing legacy of colonization and racism and identifying ways to act in solidarity with Indigenous peoples. I, of course, want to acknowledge the other members of my team who you'll also see here in various different shades of orange um, online. And those are Claire, Sume, Diane, Leslie, and Danielle, and they've all played a big role in making this webinar happen today. So thank you so much for all of your various different roles. And and Claire, Sume, Diane, and Leslie will be facilitating some breakout groups later in this webinar, if, if all goes to plan, um, and we'll have, you'll have a chat, chance to speak with them on a more um, small group level, depending on which breakout room you join. If this is your first time joining um, a National Collaborating Centre webinar or an NCCDH webinar specifically, you'll be interested to know two things. The first is that the NCCDH supports public health practitioners and organizations to address the social determinants of health and advance health equity. And the second is that the NCCDH is part of a group of organizations called the National Collaborating Centres for Public Health, or the NCCs for short. And the NCCs are funded through the Public Health Agency of Canada, and each of the NCCs identifies knowledge gaps, fosters networks, and provides the Canadian public health system with an array of evidence-based products and knowledge translation services. You can, of course, learn more about each of them at NCCPH. We thought it was particularly important to have a conversation today about online resources to support health equity capacity because public health as a field is guided by various competencies and standards of practice. Some are more cross-cutting, such as the core competencies for public health in Canada, and some are discipline-specific, um, such as the pan-Canadian health promoter competencies and standards of practice released by, for example, the Community Health Nurses of Canada. 
In each of these examples, whether in detailing core values or in detailing standards, really emphasizes equity and social justice. And so that's why we've, we've provided them as examples here. And as I mentioned before, supporting public health to do this work is really the raison d'etre for the NCCDH. And so one of the ways that we do this is by providing opportunities for public health staff across Canada to learn and build their capacity virtually online um, and for free. And we do this um, all the time, but of course there's an increased demand for it now, particularly in a time of COVID-19, where so many of us are facing travel restrictions and um, you know, really complying with public health advice, advice to stay at home as possible, as much as possible. Oops, sorry about that. <laughs> We're here today to, um, you know, the objectives for us all being here today are really to identify online resources that you can use to advance your organizational learning and capacity building opportunities, and also to increase your understanding about who those resources are for and what content they include. And finally, to share ideas and experiences about using these resources for learning and capacity building at both the organizational and the individual level.